I'm Michael Schlesinger, I'm Regional Legal Counsel. My role with the Motion Picture Association is to help protect and promote the motion picture and, and television uh, industries throughout the Asia Pacific. India is an incredible growth market place. Right now, India uh, is not entirely meeting its potential. Uh, so our job here is to try to help protect intellectual property, promote the film and television industry so that they can maximize um, their businesses here. Uh, when you say India is not meeting its full potential, uh, will you able to elaborate uh, on why and how? Sure, India is a juggernaut of creativity. It produces over 1,000 full-length feature films a year. There's over 800 broadcasters here. So clearly, creativity is flourishing. However, they're not fully monetizing that creation, that investment, um, and therefore not entirely able to tap into the demand that's out there with consumers. Examples of that are the uh, box office for theatrical. It's around uh, $1.5 billion US in 2015. Um, that compares with China, which actually has risen to now $6.8 billion in 2015, and the United States, which is a little over $11 billion for the same period of time. So there's a ways to go to fully monetize, um, and there are several steps that, that India should take in order to um, really maximize its digital economy with respect to creative content. Two or three steps that India must take to maximize uh, the digital economy that you're talking about. Well, with respect to theatrical distribution, the first step would be to catch up in terms of screen density. Today, there's a little bit over 11,000 screens in India. Um, that compares with 32,000 screens in China and over 40,000 screens in the United States. So in India, we're talking about nine screens per million people in China it's actually 26 screens per million and in the United States it's 126 screens per million so you can see that India has fallen behind in terms of meeting theatrical demand um, by building those cinemas you'll actually be able to not not only drive demand for theatrical revenue um, which will lead to increases in revenues but also job growth and growth in tax revenues for the states um, and for the federal government, um, but it'll also help to drive the digital economy in the right direction, in, in the direction of legal. Okay, so you know, essentially, we are talking about infrastructure development. Uh, uh, infrastructure development also requires a lot of capital, and that's traditionally uh, been uh, a weak area as far as India is concerned. Do you see that changing? Yeah, I mean, we do need to see that changing in terms of adding um, film incentives. Uh, attracting growth. I mean, there's no problem with making a film in India. Um, the, the question is maximizing its distribution. So in the theatrical area, you see malls rising up within three months, but you see uh, the theater taking 70 or more approvals to actually get built. Um, and that can take well over a year's time. So um, what we need to do is make sure that the regulatory framework is such that um, the, the, the building of cinemas can catch up with the building of the malls. The capital is there. What we need to do is, is sort of break down those restrictions um, that are in place in the, ver in, in the various states um, to building those cinemas and, and making uh, screen density a, a reality. Michael, on a personal note, you're also an actor. Uh, Part time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are these exciting times to be an actor, particularly with the whole digital revolution? Well, um, I enjoy participating in the, um, the creation of television and filmed entertainment because you get to see really how it affects the economy. I mean, we know that over a million workers in India have their jobs due to the entertainment industry. So when you're on a set and you're with the thousands of people who are involved, with the process, whether they're the lighting designers or the set designers or the actors or the directors or assistant directors. Um, it's just a very exciting process to be part of. And you know you're part of something that is um, contributing positively to the economy in terms of revenues, jobs, and growth in taxes. Um, the danger, of course, is that in the digital environment, because we have the easy reproducibility of content, 
and once that content is made available on the internet, it's essentially escaped free and clear. The danger is that that kind of illegitimate use, unauthorized use, will disable people from being able to invest in the creation of new television and, and filmed entertainment. So I hope that um, my job can be to help promote and protect the motion picture and, and television uh, industries and, and to help build the community of um, legitimate distribution in the digital marketplace. Uh, as an actor, how has Netflix changed your life? <laughs> um, well, no, Netflix is certainly changing the, uh, dramatically um, changing the landscape. Uh, for digital distribution, but in fact, you look at India, and there are um, over uh, there are over a dozen. There's a dozen and a half legitimate digital services that are operating in India now. So the key is to ensure that those digital services, whether they're nascent, um, whether you know whether it's a Netflix or whether it's a Hotstar or whether it's an Eros, um, have the fair chance to compete in a marketplace that is you know, literally littered with um, websites that unfortunately are providing the content without authorization, without payment to right holders, and often um, unfortunately polluting our, you know, users with high-risk advertising.